two and one three zero two. Did you mean uh, preparation for the Dragon capsule return to Earth is going on? We just heard from the astronauts themselves, but right now Shibu is, joins me live on this uh, science editor. What more do we know about the journey back? Because this is going to take some time. Right now, they're in pre-flight pre checks. So at the moment, the four astronauts have donned their spacesuits and are entering the, uh, the Dragon spacecraft for their return journey. At 4.30 p.m. is when we are expecting the Dragon to finally undock from the International Space Station. Once the undocking happens, they have about 21 hour long journey in front of them. Uh, they'll be traveling uh, uh, around the Earth. This is all uh, done by the Dragon spacecraft. It's an autonomous system. There will be no human involvement in the entire uh, uh, return uh, procedure for the, space, for the spacecraft. Uh, Group Captain Shubhanshu Shukla, who is also a mission pilot on this uh, AX-4 mission, is in a supervisory role. He'll be observing the entire procedure along with Commander Peggy Whitson. Tomorrow at around 3 p.m. is when we are expecting the splashdown to happen. It's going to be a 21 to 22 hour long journey depending on the weather clearance. Uh, in about 40 to 50 minutes is when we will finally get a go-no-go -no -go poll from the uh, SpaceX team if the undocking will happen today or not. We are hopeful that the weather is clear and the undocking happens on time. At 4.30 p.m. the undocking is scheduled to happen, Anisha. So, uh, Shibu, there are a lot of experiments that were to be carried out by this crew on board the ISS. A lot of hopes and a lot of dreams are hanging on this particular mission. Can you tell us a little more about the kind of experiments that we are looking forward to the results of? Uh, when we talk about the experiments that have been sent on AX-4 mission, this is one of the most research intensive uh, private astronaut mission that was done. Uh, about 60 experiments were launched to space from 31 countries. Now these are astronauts for four, from four countries, but the experiments came from 31 countries across the world. India itself had sent seven experiments that were conducted by Group Captain Shubhanshu Shukla. Uh, these include growing sprouts in space, uh, microalgae experiments, testing tardigrades, microorganisms that can survive in extreme weather environments. Uh, apart from that, he also had multiple outreach events. The idea was to inculcate students, uh, researchers, uh, and pave a way for India uh, particularly into this space exploration. This is the first time that an Indian astronaut had that opportunity to work in space in zero gravity. So uh, in institutes and uh, 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 schools uh, across India collaborated on these missions uh, that were sel uh, selected by the Indian Space Research Organization. Uh, the biggest uh, outcome of this mission is the development of the Gaganyaan mission. Gaganyaan is India's own human spaceflight program. And Group Captain Shubhanshu Shukla is one of the four astronaut designates selected for that mission. Uh, apart from the experiments, uh, one of the biggest learning is that the hands-on experience that he, he has got from uh, launch to uh, undocking procedure today and eventually in splashdown tomorrow. Uh, all of this will then be inculcated and fed into the Gaganyaan mission, uh, which is expected to launch in 2027. Uh, uh, India had spent close to 500 crore rupees in this entire mission. Now, it was not just for Group Captain Shubhanshu Shukla, it was also for Group Captain P. Balakrishnan Nair. So, two astronauts have been trained for this entire mission and all the hands-on experience that they will be getting will eventually feed into the Gaganyan mission to develop it and to boost it further, Anisha. Well, uh, Shibu, the question really is whether they'll be able to undock and splash down to Earth safely and on time as the schedule is at present. Uh, what are the concerns, the issues that may they may face and considering they are currently in the middle of prepping for their return? Uh, Anisha, once they sit down in the Dragon spacecraft, uh, they have donned their uh, space suits. The biggest concern always is weather parameters when it comes to splashing down and return journey. Uh, since this entire uh, uh, this Dragon spacecraft is autonomous, uh, there is no human intervention into it. So when it comes to the technicalities of it, there is no problem. The only concern remains is the weather parameters in the splashdown area uh, where there be eventually uh, uh, landing. So uh, in some time, we'll get, to, uh, we'll get a go-no-go no go poll from SpaceX. We are hoping it's going to be a go and there's going to be a green signal for that undocking to happen on time today. Well, Shibu, the uh, launch of this, space, uh, of this particular mission had been uh, delayed multiple times due to weather conditions and other factors. But let's hope this time the weather cooperates, the, uh, everything goes down 
perfectly well for them. If you could tell our viewers a little more about the experiments that they're doing. You mentioned the zero gravity experiments that Shubhranshu Shukla has done. What uh, effort, it, what effect it will have on India's own Gaganyaan program. But if you can tell us a little more about the experimentation that has been done by this particular mission. So a total of seven experiments were designed by ISRO uh, by selecting multiple proposals from institutions across India. Uh, some of these experiments included testing microalgae uh, uh, that can produce ca ca that can pr for photosynthesis process. Now Gaganyaan mission will require a, a complete uh, system for uh, supporting a life support system. India is developing it indigenously. Now the research from this uh, Axiom 4 mission will eventually be used to develop life support system for Gaganyaan mission. Apart from that, he also tested growing sprouts in space. Now since there is no gravity, the, the germination process happens pretty quickly. Uh, uh, we know that going forward we are planning to develop our own space station, the Bharti Antrik station and planning to go to the moon by 2040. Now all this will require food. This test will eventually pave the way for developing food in space. Uh, apart from that, there was also studies conducted to uh, analyze the bone loss and muscle loss that happen in long duration space travel. Uh, we do know that uh, Indian origin astronaut Sunita Williams had an eight month long mission in space during which she lo lost a lot of bone and muscle density. Uh, Group Captain Shukla studied how, how that density is affected, how muscle loss affected and how it can be recovered. Uh, apart from that, he was also part of an experiment which looked at the screen time exposure of astronauts in space. Now we, that, we know that uh, in space everything is conducted by computers. Uh, there's a lot of time where astronauts spend watching screens, uh, analyzing data. Uh, uh, the study developed by ISRO was to uh, understand what is the cognitive uh, uh, effect of that screen time on your brain. Uh, apart from that, he also did a multiple outreach events. He uh, connected with uh, Indian students on ham radio, which gives an exposure to Indian students about space travel. He did say that the idea is to inspire the next generation of the astronauts from India. Uh, yesterday in the farewell ceremony, he, he got a bit emotional and he did say that our space journey has just begun when it comes to human space travel. Uh, going forward, it's going to be a long journey, it's going to be a difficult journey, but if we come together, uh, even stars are attainable. So all these experiments, when combined together, the hands-on experience that Group Captain Shukla has had from launch uh, to living in space, how the body adapts to uh, zero gravity, how it has to... Uh, also men mentioning that when he first arrived in space, he did not feel great. Uh, so adaptation is pretty uh, uh, critical when it comes to space travel. So all these learnings will eventually feed into the Gaganyaan mission and India's own human space flight uh, exploration, Anisha. Well, uh, Shivu, we're looking at how these experiments, not just India's experiments, but as you said, there are multiple countries who sent, uh, who had sent up experiments for this particular mission. It is supposed to foster really a sustainable low Earth orbit, uh, how this entire system is going to go on.